Hey guys, how are you all doing? I am in such a good mood today, let me tell you. Like, today is a really, really good day. Uh, you know what? Uh, now, now stick with me, because I've got something big for you. I've got, some, I've got something really, really seriously cool for you. Uh, I'm going to try and talk and build, because I, I really want to get on with some of this stuff. So we're going like, to focus on, um, on like, the city, getting up towards the city of London. Now, uh, the, the city of London, let me bring up the map. The city of London... Um, I, 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 like when we talk about the city of London, we don't mean like London, the city. It's like a specific part of London is called the city of London. It's like the original part, the old part of, of London. And you can see on this map, right, that the city and county of the city of London. And it's this area and it's kind of centered around the Bank of England. And it's where all the financial institutions are. It's where I used to work. Um, so yeah, we're going to be putting this in, and and this is going to be like pretty challenging because this is like a mass of tiny little streets, uh, and we're going to kind of simplify it a little bit. But we're going to put in some of the some of the landmarks and uh, like how come there isn't a St Paul's Cathedral? In the, I like I couldn't believe that. I looked through all the cathedrals. There isn't a St Paul's Cathedral. For God's sake, somebody make St Paul's Cathedral. It's like an awesome building. We need that in. Right. So, um, like, what was I going to tell you about? Okay. So, first of all, like, what's uh, what's kind of the big, the, like, the big thing, the cool thing, um, and that is, uh, I was contacted by a musician, uh, a guy by the name of Tom Wardman, and he was like, um, "Hey, Sky, you know, like, I, I, he, I've been listening to your your, your vids and, and the music that you're using, and um, I, I'd like to, you know, like, um, suggest that maybe." You'd like to use um, some of my music, so um, here's like here's like a playlist. Have a listen and see what you think. So um, I had a little listen. Oh, this guy produces some seriously cool stuff. Let me turn snap off. This guy produces some seriously cool stuff. Uh, it's like like chill, yeah, like chill dubstep, liquid drum and bass. But he's got some great tracks with like fem female vocalists, and I like I am a total sucker for you know like really chilled out dubstep with like a, a really sweet female vocal on top. Like uh, so, you're going to be having so I'm going to do a time lapse in a bit, but I got stuff to tell you about. So um, I'm st I'm still like flying from the fact that I've got a new mouse. I found out what was wrong with my old mouse. Um, the the problem with my old mouse was that. I, I bought this freaking super duper high tech uh, mouse mat, and it's huge. Like that, the mouse mat is like the size of the desk. It's like uh, a meter long, like like three feet long. Um, but the the mouse that I had, which is a absolute piece of garbage that I was using as a temporary replacement for my Steel Series mouse. Which I spent like a hundred bucks on a Steel Series mouse, and the damn thing lasted like I don't know, like maybe three, four months before the buttons started going. Don't buy Steel Series mice; they suck. I don't care what anybody else says. I think they absolutely suck. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing because I'm yakking so much. But um, what have we got coming in there? Oh, that's uh, you know what? I kind of probably need to move this a little and adapt. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> So this is what happens when you, you're yakking while well, uh, you should be kind of building. But I, I want to tell you about this stuff. So anyway, I've bought this new mouse and it is a, um, a somebody, like I had several people because I mentioned it in, the, in other videos, but I didn't tell them what it was. It's a Logitech uh, G502 Proteus Core. And oh man, like I, I was told, I still didn't tell, finish telling you what was wrong with the old mouse. The old mouse like couldn't recognize the surface properly of this um, mouse mat and so like you'd move the mouse on the mouse mat and the cursor just wouldn't move and then suddenly it would like just shoot off the screen and stuff you know whereas this thing like it just does exactly what I want you can't believe how cool it is right I'm gonna move this map up a little bit like this right so that we're kinda like yeah kinda sorta ish like in the right place and then I'll start slapping some roads in, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna have some improvisation. This road going up here, and this needs to be turned around. I've got several things that I need to actually correct. So you know what? Let's let's do a bit of sorting out. 
Uh, what else have I got to tell you about? Oh, I've got it because like in the last episode, I told you I was going up to um, uh, to to YouTube, and uh, and I did. And I had a wonderful day up there. I I was to be honest, I was kind of thinking it was going to be kind of near, you know, like yeah, just a presentation and. But it's really, oh man, like such cool offices. Like really, really seriously cool. Like really freaky and wild. They've got like, you, you know like, like those kids um, kids play pits with like lots of rubber balls in and stuff like that. They've got like one of those in the middle of the office. And people just go like, well, like instead of going to a meeting room, they go and sit in there with their laptops. It's like you freaking weird, man. But awesome. What a great place to work. Google is, uh, Google is a, a very cool company to work for. All right, so let's have this going up here. Uh, actually, I want to take that out a little bit, don't I? Um, so yeah, and uh, like it was, it's like their, their like the biggest event of the year, uh, launching this uh, this new app for YouTube gaming. And I tell you what, guys, it's pretty darn cool what they're doing. I'd actually read up about it before um, when it was like first announced. But like when you get to actually get a chance to, to, to play with it and stuff, oh man, it, it is pretty damn nice. Uh, basically, like if you can imagine, imagine your YouTube, right? Like combined with Twitch, with like a way better UI, right? So, like it tells you uh, like everything that you want to know and and it, everything's organized instead of being organized like kind of by channels and stuff it's more organized by games so like if there's a game that you're interested in and like somebody goes live streaming it you you, you know you can get notifications on that like if you want them right it's very controllable i really like it um so it, it, you should be able to get a much better sense of like like what content is out there and what you want to watch and stuff so yeah, it's very cool. I, I, I was um, I was quite impressed. What the hell am I doing? I'm going to move this. Um, I'm kind of thinking of all the stuff that I want to tell you, and then I'm going to kind of go to go to time lapse. And yeah, several people said, yeah, you put this in the wrong way around. Yeah, I know. Um, that needs to be around this way, I think. So, and I need to. You know what? There's um. Let me put this in, and let me tell you this. Because because I remember when when I first put it in, I said like the scale isn't right. This should be this should be taller. The reason this should be taller, there's nothing wrong with the scale of this model. So, uh, Swiss, has, Swiss has done a, a great job with this model. The, the reason it should be taller is because it's actually on a hill, right? And it's on a hill, and it's surrounded by like a couple of rings of walls. Now there is a mod out there, um, and I can't think what the, it's called. The Carcassonne pack or something like that and it's a pack of like castle walls and things so uh, i'm going to get that and we'll do a whole thing on that we'll, we'll we'll see how it works and we'll see what we can do right so uh yeah okay so let's bring the map up right you know what i think at this point it's time to like introduce you to this um, this very cool piece of music and uh, and let you have a a bit of a listen that Tower Bridge is completely in the wrong place. Let me sort the map out, right? And just, like, enjoy this music, because I think it's freaking awesome.
Oh man, how? Oh come on, you gotta love that music. Like, please, 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 like, drop comments because I know Tom will be very interested uh, in uh, in how you like that. Yeah, Ch uh, Chinian, he goes by the name of, but um, it's Tom, Tom Woodman. And, uh, and Tom, tell, like, whoever that vocalist is, tell her she's freaking awesome. Love her voice. We're going to be hearing a lot more of Tom's music going forward, I think. Uh, right, let's, um, let's drop the map down, see what the hell we've done. So, right, I've put in, like, a whole bunch of roads that we can, that we can now zone in, which we are going to do. This is all going to be, um, obviously, like, a mi well, it's going to be a mixture of offices and commercial, but it's primarily offices. This is, this is the city of London. This is where Lloyd's is. This is where all the big investment banks are. Um, right, let's, um, let's have a little look at the map. I want to talk to you about a few places and, and to kind of tell you, like, a, a few things. I've just spotted, like, one road that I should put in. I should put in this kind of road. Now, you've probably noticed that I'm using straight roads rather than curved roads for this. Let's drop the map down, you can see, you can see. Uh, and it's simply because, because this is so tightly packed, if I start using like too many curved roads and stuff, that we won't get any blooming buildings in at all. Uh, and, we're, and, and this is gonna have to be like relatively simplified, so. Um, right, let's, let, let, let's see, right. We've got some important stuff in here. Like first of all, there's loads and loads of tube stations. You see these red circles? Each one of these is a tube station. Right, so you've got like bank and monument. This monument, a lot of people think that monument is a monument to the, the First World War. But it's not, it's actually a monument to um, the Great Fire of London in uh, 1665 or 1666, can't remember. One of the two. We had the, we had the Great Fire of London and uh, was it the plague? Like the, or was it like the, we had the, the, the plague and then we had the Great Fire of London the year after? Yeah, I think that's the way it worked because um, the the Great Fire of London was um, kind of responsible for helping to, uh, to to stop the plague. I think like my history isn't the best. I mean, you, you know, I got well. I, I, people have been like ragging me about getting Waterloo in the wrong country, but I said because I said it's like it's like France. I kind of knew it was kind of like on the like like northern France or the border into Belgium I kind of knew it was like there and plus the fact people say which in Belgium it's Belgium ah well it may be Belgium now but it wasn't Belgium then aha uh -huh, it was the Netherlands then there wasn't a Belgium then right so there you go right well what the hell was I talking about right so um, we've got the Tower of London over here and as we move into the into the city, um, we've got one of the most important uh, railway stations, Fenchurch Street. If you're coming in from the east, so you're coming in from like Essex and all those kinds of you know areas, then uh, then you're going to be coming into either to Fenchurch Street, which is here, or to Liverpool Street Station, which is here. Now I want to I want to point this out. This corner here, um, there's a building on the corner here. And that's the building where Tom Cruise holed up in the first Mission Impossible film. If you if you doubt me, go and watch the Mission Impossible film. He's in the little he's in the building on the corner here. And I actually used to work in uh, in this place. This is called Broadgate Circle. And in this 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 circle here, this is all pedestrianised inside here. Uh, you've got you've got like several. Big buildings this is this is broadgate one i think this is broadgate two i'm not i can never remember the the, the numbers this is broadgate one because i used to work in broadway broadgate one and uh, this this bit in the center this is I'll, I'll put pictures up i'm sure but this is like an amphitheater and this um, this part in the center in the winter they flood this uh, and make it into an ice rink which is very cool you know we well, i've been ice skating on there and uh, in the summer they have like concerts and stuff and it's a very cool place, very cool place. And like uh, in this like kind of area around, there's like a raised part where there's um, there's bars and stuff. There's um, there's an all bar one, I think. Uh, and uh, sort of trade of, I, I don't know. But I can't remember the bars now. It's so long ago. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, um, moving on. Right, and then we've got like, moving over here, you've got like Moorgate, um, which is a kind of a big road, Moorgate. And then you move up to the Barbican Centre. God knows what we're going to put in for the Barbican Centre. It's a big art centre. We've got the Guildhall, which is kind of important, but 
it's kind of not really a, a landmark as such, so we kind of probably won't bother with that too much. Got some Paul's Cathedral I've already talked about. Down here, like Cannon Street, uh, Monument. I'll try and put something in for Monument because it is kind of an important uh, part of London. Um, going over here, we've got Whitechapel. We're now we're Jack the Ripper country we're moving into now, around the Whitechapel area. This used to be like the the, the CD red light district the cd red light district then became uh, moving over here into the into the west end close in fact where i was remember i went up to st giles circus now where's st, st giles circus it should be up uh where the hell did i go <laughs> oh yeah oh here uh this is uh piccadilly circus oh right yeah so here it's st giles circus that's why i couldn't see because we haven't got a bit of the map up uh here's st giles circus and this area it's over here soho uh, this through like the like the 60s, 70s, 80s was like the, the the red light district, and there were like strip clubs and and stuff like that there. But these days, it's all been redeveloped, and it's all kind of really nice and trendy now. And then uh, Oxford Circus and Bond Street and Savile Row, Savile Row, like Bond Street is like all the like the big fashion stuff. And I, the tailors, somebody corrected me, and they're dead, they're dead right. Savile Row is is obviously the the place to get a custom suit. Um, so right, yeah, enough yakking, enough yakking. Right, um, are there any actual buildings that we're going to put in? Um, I'm kind of thinking, like, like maybe the Gherkin. I don't know. You know, I, I think we'll probably put the gherkin in in the next episode, primarily because I need to look at exactly where the hell it is. And I, on this map, it doesn't tell me, I don't think. So um, some of you have probably spotted it and you'll be going, yeah, you moron. Bonehead to you. Thanks very much. Right, you know what? Let's zone in like like a whole ton of office space. So let's just let's just zone in like uh, let's switch to the marquee tool. Let's just zone in like this whole area for now as uh, as offices, right? And now, obviously, we're going to have to get people up here. So now we've got a reason to like put trains and stuff in. So we're going to have to put the trains in, the train routes uh, up to like, so we're going to have to get Waterloo active and we're going to have to put the bridges in over here and get them active. We're going to have to get Purley and we're going to have to develop South Croydon and get these roads working. We're going to have to put the train in that comes from Purley and goes up here. And then we're going to have to start doing the east and putting the trains in here. I really want to get to the airport and do the airport, but I think that's going to have to wait for a while. And we're going to have to start developing uh, like the north of London a lot more. Uh, and I can tell you like a bunch of stuff about that. Oh man, like um, I'm absolutely loving this. I'm going to let this kind of build a little bit and I'm probably going to have a bit of a tinker around. Um, like maybe start developing some of this. Uh, put some of these roads in so that we can hook these railway stations up. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, I might time lapse it or I might do a little bit and then like the next episode we'll, uh, we'll maybe, maybe have some time lapse or something. I'm not sure. But come back for the next episode guys because... Um, Oh, I cannot wait for this to develop and us start to get some real action going on in the city of London. <laughs>